Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to join um, a Rick with Everett from my FM 94.1. What do you do? What do you like about your job? My job? I like talking with the people and uh, being out of the community, different events, meeting people like you. I met you through my job. So yep. uh, being at different events and kind of learning all about the different things that are going on in St. Thomas and Elgin County and kind of being out at them. That's, that's definitely my favorite part. Yeah. What do you you what do you not like? I not like. I like I like to think that I like everything about my job. Yep. Um, some days it can get to be long days, which uh, sometimes can can get tiring. But uh, yeah, I like pretty much everything about yeah. my job. Yeah. What is the most re recent things have you ever happened on your job? Most interesting thing that has ever happened to me on my job. Yep. Um, most interesting thing. Uh, well, one of the things that I have liked the most was uh, I got to interview Darcy Tucker from the Toronto Maple Leafs, yep. the alumni, when the St. Thomas alumni came to St. Thomas in, what was that, April? Yeah, yeah because April. they first the St. Thomas Police. Yeah, the St. Thomas Police at the at the um, Joe Thornton Community yep. Centre. So that was, I really liked that a lot. What do you do if the power goes out? If the power goes out at our station? Yeah. Uh, well, that's a good question. Um, there are... A few different things. The first thing that we tried and have to do is figure out where the power went out because it can either go out in our studio or sometimes it can go out uh, in the office or at um, we have a couple of transmitter sites. Uh, so we have to figure out where the power is out so then we can figure out then what we need to do because if it's out in our station then that means something different than if it's out at our transmitter site. Um, so that's probably that's the main thing. What is your favorite part about your radio station job? Favorite part of my radio station, the, the actual job? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'd say talking on the radio. Like, I really like doing the newscasts on air. Yep. Um, I also do, um, I've done the broadcasts for the St. Thomas Stars in the past, doing fill-ins this year, but um, I really enjoy that. So kind of anything that is on the radio, I'd say is probably my favorite part. What did you have to take for school and for your job? Schooling for my job, I had to, uh, well, I went to Western, and that's where I, uh, Western, they have their own campus radio station, Yep. and I volunteered there and kind of learned um, a lot about radio there while I was at Western doing my undergrad, and then when I graduated, I went to Humber College in Toronto, yeah, cool. and I did, um, it's uh, called a postgraduate certificate, Nice. so I have a certificate in uh, radio broadcast. Cool. Um... Did you make friends from your job? From my job, yeah. That's where I met you. Yep. Through my job. Um, yeah, we, I met a lot of good friends uh, through my job and a lot of good people in the community and businesses and whatnot. So, yeah, a lot of friends, a lot of friendly people, too. Yep. <laughs> and how long have you done this radio station job? This job, three years. Wow. Flies. Time flies when you're having fun. Yep. If you could be anything in the world, what would you, do, you be, be and why? Anything in the world? Yeah. It's a big picture question, Julian. <laughs> uh, I would, if I could be anything, I think I've always loved, uh, you know, Sports Center on TSN? Yep. You know the guys on TV that kind of read the Yeah, the TSN was at, in Toronto. TSN is in Toronto, yes. Yeah. Because I'd they, love to work there. They before they came for the open nights for the, for the basketball, like for the Special Olympics. They, they were at that? Yeah. Okay. Because they showed the TSN. Right, because you are a gold medal winning Special Olympian. Yep. We are, this is an honor to be interviewed by Julian here, <laughs> a Special Olympic gold medalist. What time of hours do you work? I work um, 10 till 6, mostly. Sometimes I'll work 2 till 10 if I have to be at City Council. Or I'll work, um, sometimes you have to work weekends, and I'll work at 5 in the morning till 1 in the afternoon. And are you going to be, like, at Pumpkin Prowl for um, next week, I think? The Downtown Development Board? Pumpkin Prowl? Yeah. In the downtown? Uh, I think... I don't know if it's going to be me. We have, on Halloween, we have our Pumpkin Patrol, where we're out driving around the city um, doing, you know, safety reminders and kind of saying hi to people and making sure everybody's safe on Halloween. So that's what I'll be doing on Halloween. I don't know that I'll be uh, at the pumpkin prowl. Are you oh, going? Yep. What are you being for Halloween? 
Pennywise. The Pennywise. Dancing. Have you seen that movie? Yep. Twice. Uh, two. The uh, <sighs> twice from the second one. No way. But first on the first one. I will not see it. <laughs> What's your favorite? Is it good? Yep. Oh gosh. It's where they. I don't want to spoil it on the no live. No spoilers. We don't need spoilers. So anybody that didn't go see um, it movie, um, for, I'm being Pennywise from it. So if you didn't see it, oh, just see Julian. Just see me and yeah. So thanks. Thanks. No, thank you for having <laughs> me. I'm glad we could finally set this up. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, guys. See you later. <laughs>